I'm John Allen, and it's time to turn the table as we do every Friday with weekend TV talk show hosts. Joining us this week, Al Hunt of Bloomberg TV and Candy Crowley of CNN. And we're going to be talking about the 2014 elections and also New Year's resolutions. Uh, Al, good to see you for the first time this year. I uh, wanted to know, uh, it, by November 2014, 11 months from now, what do you think are the big races to watch? Well, control of the Senate is at the top of the agenda. Uh, and that means uh, those red state Democrats, there's three in the South and Alaska, uh, the Democrats have to hold at least half of those seats if they're going to retain control of the Senate. So you're going to watch those. And the other race on the other side is Kentucky. Both Mitch, Mitch McConnell's primary, how badly, if at all, does he get bruised? Uh, and will he have any problems against a reasonably attractive candidate in the general election? So on the Senate side, those are the ones I'd watch. And uh, after the turn of the year, now I've got to ask you, what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to cheer harder to make sure that Washington Nationals win the World Series as they should have last year. Candy, we're into 2014 now. Uh, wondering what are the big, big races you're going to watch uh, in terms of Senate, House, anything else? I, I have to tell you, I'm intrigued by the Senate because obviously that's the chance where uh, Republicans uh, do have opportunities to take over control of the Senate, which would change the dynamic enormously if you assume, as most people do, that Republicans will maintain control of the House. So in, in terms of moving forward over the next two years, certainly a Senate majority Republican would make things fairly lively up on Capitol Hill. So, and I, I kind of like the Southern races a lot. And so you look at Arkansas with Pryor, uh, Democrat up for reelection. You, you look at Hagan uh, in North Carolina and uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, the Republican leader right now who gets probably a, who gets a primary challenge as well as if he makes it through that general um, uh, contest. So I, I like them because I think the Southern races will give you a hint uh, as to where the Democratic Party is going in terms of moderates. You know, that used to be the, that's blue dog territory. So uh, will blue dogs turn from more liberal uh, candidates on the Democratic side that have, say, supported health care and move toward Republicans? And I think that'll also tell us, you know, every race is about the next race. So I, I think that'll tell us a lot about 2016 as well. It's uh, certainly, a, certainly a bellwether and a, <clears throat> an indication, I think. It'll be, uh, obviously, a lot of people pouring through political data right. for those 2014 It's races. what we do. What can I say? <laughs> some, good, uh, some good graphics and charts and holograms and right. stuff like that right. on CNN, too, I, I'm sure. Um, can, can you tell us uh, here in the first uh, week of January what your New Year's resolution is? I gave up. My, I, I have a uh, grandchildren who called them New Year's revolutions, um, and I have no rev I have no revolutions. I, I, I am always so disappointed in myself come May uh, when I've sort of given up on the revolution. So I'm going to sort of in my head be thinking month to month, uh, okay, what can I be doing better? But to make that big, you know, 12 months is a long time to have to keep a promise to yourself. So I tend to steer clear of them. That's it for this week. Be sure to check out our full interviews at politico.com slash turn the table. Have a good weekend.